Ever wondered what is that spinning little thingy when you install a new JavaScript module? Well, with this new trendy snake game played in the URL of your browser, I started asking the question, how does that work? So like any good developer, I opened the GitHub repository and I checked the code. And if you scroll down to the bottom, skipping the browser and document setup of the web page, you get to find the core code of this application, how things are represented in the URL and how the game is dynamically updating without re-rendering the page. I'm gonna explain to you how does this work under the hood. Let's get down to business. Standard Braille cell has six dots numbered like one, two, three, four, five, six. Each dot maps to one bit for Unicode Braille. So this means bit for dot one is equal to one, which means one left shifted by zero. Braille is a system of six physical dots per character cell. Each cell can have any combination of those dots raised or not raised. That means 2 to the power of 6, which means 64. So each symbol in this range corresponds to a bit mask of dots. This concludes that a braille character is equal to this simple equation 0x2800, 0, which is a hexadecimal value, plus the mask, where mask is the sum of all bits for raised dots. So first things first, I'm going to create the mask. So this is going to be dot number one on the top left, and this is going to be dot number four on the top right. And then we're going to extract the braille from this by combining the mask to our hexadecimal value that we talked about, and then we're gonna console log the result. So let's run this code, and there you go. Thank you for sticking around, and Primogen, I think we need Doom Eternal played in the URL. And that's basically it. Bye -bye.